Hey guys, so this is going to be the fourth video of my back to school series and the first part is going to be more directed towards high school and middle schoolers and I'm going to be talking about how to set up your locker and how to make your locker look really cute and I actually have some stuff to show that my little sister is going to use in her locker this year. And the second part of this video is going to be all about school supplies and how to be organized and still have cute books for school. Okay, so before I show everything that you can put in your locker to kind of make it more personal and more you, I just want to let you know, measure your locker so you know how big or how small it is, so you don't buy stuff that won't fit in it because that's just a waste of money. And two, I recommend putting snacks in your locker, so if you get hungry throughout the day, you can just reach for them. But get stuff like chips or pretzels, something with preservatives in it so you know it's not going to mold because I know plenty of people that put sandwiches in their locker and they leave it there and then months later they find it and it's all disgusting and smelly so don't put anything like that just some chips something you can eat on the go before lunch or after lunch if you get hungry. So I think it's important to have shelves and to divide up your locker so your books aren't on top of each other and you can be organized and just grab something and go. Like this is great my little sister got it from Target my dad had to cut it though because it was too wide for her locker and this is nice because you can have maybe your morning class books on the bottom and your classes for the afternoon, all that stuff on top. So your books aren't on top of each other. Your race boards are really cool to have in your locker because you can write messages on them to your friends or you can just draw fun pictures on them. So I'm going to show a few different dry erase boards. And just so this is the first one. It's a dry erase board with a cork board underneath it. And it's magnetic on the back, which I think is the most important thing. If you buy anything to hang on your locker, make sure there are magnets on the back because you don't want to have to put your own on or you don't have to worry about, and you don't want to have to worry about like tape and glue or anything like that. Their circles are really cool because you can write on them. They come in different colors. I think they're probably one of my favorite types of dry erase boards because I know I didn't have these when I had lockers. They're so cool and the colors are just really bright and fun. It's a dry erase board on the front and this opens up and there's three mirrors and a light on the inside and you can hang little things from the bottom. Obviously nothing too heavy but just any sort of little thing, maybe a scrunchie or a bracelet or just something. And then there's magnets on the back though so it can stick right onto your locker, but this is just so cool and the mirror on the inside is great. So that last dry erase board and mirror leads me into the next item that I think is great to have in your locker, which is a mirror, because I think you should have one in there so you can see how you look throughout the day, see if your makeup smudged, touch up your hair, you know, maybe see if you have anything in your teeth. It's just important to have one, you know, whether you have it on a dry erase board like this or just a mirror alone by itself, just any sort of mirror is great. So you want to make sure everything's very organized in your locker because you don't want to be searching for things in between classes if you're in a rush, so that shelf is great and also something like this is really nice it has three compartments so you can hold pens and pencils in here just in case you lose one you can just grab one and go to your next class maybe hold some scrunchies or hair clips if you want to tie your hair back and this one actually has a mirror on the front so it has the mirror and you can be organized all at the same time so now onto the fun part, how to decorate your locker. All that stuff I just showed is great to be organized and still be cute, but you're going to want to hang up pictures of you and your friends and family in your locker. So why not get cute magnets like these? These have little sayings on them. My sister got them at Target. And they even have magnets where you can put pictures in them already. So this is probably the coolest thing that my little sister had for her locker. It's these hanging beads. Like, that's awesome. Like, I want that in my locker. I wish I was still in high school and I could use it. And it's nice because it has a magnet at the top so it just sticks on there. And it won't get in the way because your shelves and everything are really going to be at the bottom of your locker. So this is just nice to add a little personal touch. And she also has a disco ball. Like, that's just really fun and cool to have in your locker. I love school supplies. That's probably my favorite thing to buy to get ready to go back to school. I love buying pretty notebooks and folders and being all matching and cute. So I'm going to be showing you what I'm using for my Tuesday night class. I don't have what I'm using Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's when I have four classes and then I have one class Tuesday night so I have a total of five classes. But for my one Monday, Wednesday, Friday I plan on buying a five subject notebook and a folder for each class I have that day because I feel very organized with five subject notebooks. I like them better than binders and it's just really nice and easy to keep everything together. But then for Tuesday night I got this really cute notebook. It's Barbie. It has a matching folder to go along with it. Like she's so cute. I love Barbie. It's a nice back. And then I know I'm probably going to go through this notebook pretty fast. So I got this notebook too. It's Hello Kitty. My second favorite thing ever. Actually, I think it's tied between Hello Kitty and Barbie. I love them both so much. Now I'm going to be showing some footage from Target for other great organizational tips for your school supplies.
Colored pens are really fun. I know a lot of teachers don't like you writing in them, so I only use them for my own personal notes. I write in blue or back pen on stuff I have to hand in, but stuff in my own notebook, I love to write in any sort of color. Highlighters are a great way to stay organized. I know as I read a textbook, I highlight all the important information. In college, you buy your own textbook so you don't have to worry about returning them to, your, to the school so you know you can highlight whatever you want. And when you're studying, you can just go back and read whatever you highlighted. And I think mechanical pencils are great because you don't have to worry about pencil sharpeners. You just have the lead. You put it in. Because a lot of classrooms don't have pencil sharpeners. and You don't want to be searching for one or not being able to write without a pencil. I like notebooks better than binders. I think it's easier to write in them. And it's much easier to stay organized with a notebook. You don't have papers flying everywhere. And they have so many different styles, different covers, and they even have the simple plain ones as well, depending on what you like or what your school will allow. So even if you use notebooks like me, it's always important to have extra paper because you never know when you might need it. These book socks or book protectors, whatever you want to call them, are really great. They have sizes on them, but they really fit around almost any textbooks. And they're important to have because you want to keep your textbook protected. You don't want it to get ruined because you will have to pay for it if you get it damaged. I know that's how my school was. And they come in so many different colors and styles. And they're either $0.50 cents or $1.99, and I think that's a great deal for them. Being organized is very important and you should have all your pens and pencils in one spot so you're not digging through your bag. So you can get a cute pencil case to hold them all in. There's so many to choose from and they vary in price and style. You can find any kind you want. This last one's really nice because it actually fits in a binder. So if you like binders, unlike me, you can have one like that. Back on the topic of being organized, a calendar or agenda is very important. I know I would be lost without mine and I loved it because in junior high and high school my school actually provided one for me now in college I have to buy my own but there are so many to choose from so many different styles you can buy ones with just the calendar you can buy ones with week slots on the time slots but it really helps me stay organized and know where I have to be and what I have to do in school as well I really like this idea it's kind of a do-it-yourself you can design your own book covers boxes folders, notebooks. It's just a way to really show your creative side. I kind of struggle at opening this box up, but it's magnetic. It really can store anything. It says it's a marker box. You know, you can put pens and pencils in it, anything you really want to. And there are folders and notebooks and just a wide variety of things. The one downside is it seems like it could be a very messy thing to do, but it really seems like a lot of fun. Like I kind of want to buy one and try it out and see how it goes. So if you like binders, these ones are very nice because they actually have clear slots in the front so you can see pictures through them. You know, maybe you can write what classes you have on the side and on the front you can put really nice pictures. I don't recommend getting a giant one like this though. You don't need one binder for your entire day. You know, you can have a morning binder and then an afternoon binder and switch them out during lunch. So a one inch one would be great to have because you know you're not going to have that many classes in each binder and there's no need to carry around a giant three inch one. Just get a smaller one. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be my last video in this back to school series. I might be doing other college related videos, but this series is going to be done tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.